Hi guys, it's me again and welcome to lesson four of art and it's another lesson on mosaic. So you've seen these images yesterday and I'm just going to redefine exactly what a mosaic is. It's a coherent pattern. It forms a clear, definite image created from small, regular, that means they're the same shape, or irregular, that means they're cut to all kinds of shape, pieces, the substances such as stone, glass, tiles, which is ceramics, same sort of stuff you get in your bathroom, or paper and card, okay? And again, you saw these images yesterday that mosaics are not something new. They've been around for thousands of years. And in particular, the ancient Romans used them, as we saw yesterday. And again, the same sort of images. You would have had images of things like animals, you might have images of flowers, repeating patterns, images of battles. In this case here, the bottom left-hand corner there is two gladiators fighting it out. You might have had images of Roman uh, emperors or gods and goddesses. And in the later Roman Empire, uh, you would have had um, images of Jesus, let's just say, biblical um, images. So again, I've just gone through this with you. It's there just as a reminder. Um, but as you can see, the contrast there, they're both Roman mosaics. The one at the top is Jesus. The one at the bottom is Medusa, who is a mythological creature from ancient Greek mythology, but the Romans tended to follow a very similar belief system. So you would still find mosaics of ancient Greek gods and goddesses and mythological creatures. Now today's task is building on from yesterday where you were making um, your letters and mosaics, today what you're going to do is step it up a gear and you're going to have a go at turning a stencil, so in this case we've got a stencil of a vase, into a mosaic. So use your cardboard um, that you've got from yesterday or anything else you have in your house if you've got something that's better to do it with then by all means please do and start to cut out pieces to create a vase. Now you have got three images of the vases on your sheet. That's just in, so you've got spares. You only actually need to do one of them. You don't have to do all three. Now if you look at the picture on the right hand side, it's an example of how it could be done. Okay. Don't worry on this particular task about filling in all the blank uh, spaces around it. It is simply just mosaic the vase. Try to make sure that you keep within the lines. That way then you keep the shape and the overall pattern of the vase. If you start overlapping some of those dark lines, what you will find is that you lose the overall image of the vase itself. So like I say, you've got three of these. You only need to do one of them. It's just there so that you've got some spares in case something goes wrong. Now always remember, if you stick something in the wrong place, when it's dried, you can always stick stuff back over the top of it. So that's one of the nice things about uh, collage and mosaic. It can always be fixed. And that's it for today, guys. Good luck. I look forward to seeing some of these masterpieces. See you later. Bye.